we've been to the border. You haven't been to the border. I, and I haven't been to Europe. You're going to literally see the craters on the moon with your own eyes. It is time for us to do what we have been doing, and that time is every day. Through those 70 years, as I mentioned yesterday, there has been peace and security. Vice President Kamala Harris, known for her masterful answer to questions about the major issues facing America, and she's serving up yet another word salad when asked why the U.S. is buying Russian oil. Understanding that right now on the issue of energy, our allies have stood firm and unified in a way that many of the pundits didn't predict would happen um, to ensure that we are, we are unified in our approach to this issue. Huh? Joe Concha that one answers wasn't her words. My, not your worst, but definitely not the best. Look, Concha, can anyone in this administration form a concise, declarative statement in response to a question that presents facts? You know, the baseline, or what should be the baseline, for being number one and two in the United States. It appears to be uh, quite the challenge these days, and messaging obviously is important, and that's maybe why we're seeing poll numbers in the 30s across the board on major issues when it concerns Joe Biden and his team. And it's very apparent now that many voters, including Democrats, are having Biden's remorse, buyer's remorse, whatever you want to call it, over the choice of Kamala Harris as vice president. Uh, she's at 38 percent approval in her home state of California, and that is the deepest of blue states. She's failed on the border, obviously, her number one job, which she almost never talks about anymore. Why would she? And now she's supposed to be, you know, plan B, or at least she was going into this presidency. And now she's plan Z. And if Joe Biden doesn't run for reelection, and a majority of Democrats don't want him to in recent polls, it's hard to see any scenario where she replaces him at the top of the ticket because of answers like this, which seem to happen on a regular basis, guys. Yeah, and of course, in that soundbite, she said, uh, understanding that right now on the issue of energy, our allies have stood firm and unified. But, of course, energy is a domestic issue. So even if our allies buy Russian oil, it doesn't mean that we have to. Want to get to this, though. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis had a mm. bit of an interaction with some college students over masks. Watch here. You do not have to wear those masks. I mean, please take them off. <laughs> Honestly, it's not doing anything, and we got to stop with this COVID theater. So if you want to wear it, fine, but this is, a, this is ridiculous. Joe? Well, uh, this is why if Donald Trump cho chose not to run, Ron DeSantis would be going away, and I'm talking like secretary of proportions going away, uh, favored to win the Republican nomination, because he's very consistent in his principles. And it should be noted, and I'm glad you played the full soundbite, because I'm not seeing that in some other areas of broadcast news, uh, despite what some are reporting, that he said it was okay to keep the masks on if the students chose not to. And some did, while others took them off. Choice, freedom, it's a hell of a concept, yet we're hearing that DeSantis demanded that they take the masks off. And he said, no, if you want to keep them on, fine. If you don't want to, that's fine, too. But this is theater. And he's right about the theater part. We saw that during the State of the Union. And look, a straw poll at a CPAC showed DeSantis getting 61 percent of the wow. vote if Trump doesn't run. His next closest potential competitors were even in the single digits. Uh, and that's it. So he's leading comfortably in his Florida governor's race. That's not going to be a problem over his potential challengers there. And he's the one candidate, guys, that if Trump weren't to run, that Trump supporters would embrace just as warmly. You you can't say that about some of the other potential Republican candidates that are out there. He's another Trump except a younger version of him and perhaps without some of the baggage that the former president yeah. may bring along. A lot of intrigue on this over the course of the next two plus years. Finally, Joe, New Time sure. Magazine cover honoring Vladimir Zelensky and the heroes of Ukraine. There it is on your screen. Joe, can you remember another yeah. leader galvanizing the world so quickly like Zelensky has? Well, kudos to Time Magazine, uh, and, and, and thanks to solid reporting on the ground uh, by many news networks, including this one, and social media, the world has learned just how brave and courageous and unselfish the Ukrainian people and its leader and President Zelensky is. But you just have to wonder, how long can they hold off this Russian onslaught, which is insidious and relentless, as you've been reporting all morning, targeting civilians, women, children, food and water and electricity is increasingly becoming a crisis before our eyes on our screens. We're all praying this summer 
somehow can end sooner rather than later. But the world is rooting for Ukraine as one because of its leader and because of its people. It is just so inspiring, and uh, yeah. there's not really much else to add to that. And uh, the translation of the headline on that Time magazine cover, it's a quote from what Vladimir Zelensky said dur uh, during his speech to the European Parliament, and it's, uh, life will win over death, and light will win over darkness. Joe, thank you so much for joining us. All right, Carly Todd, have a good one. You too, sir.